Okay, we are in Eureka Park, heading over to SBA Sole Business Agency, and we are looking for a company called The Mend Bio Simulator. There's so many people here, it's a bit of a maze, so we're gonna weave our way around, kind of avoid some people over here. If you follow me this way, I believe we found, here we are at The Mend Bio Simulator. Hi, Hi how are you? Very good, how are you? Jay, nice Jay. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and about your company? I'm, uh, my name is Jun Lee. I'm, I'm a CEO of the, the Man Bio Simulator. And also I'm a professor of mechanical engineering. Very good. And uh, we are AI-based uh, uh, software developer, mostly for the uh, medical imaging and the diagnostics. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So sounds uh, that's not my field of expertise. Sounds a little complicated, but you have a lot of things on display sure. here. Sure. So to make it easier for myself and our viewers to understand, can you kind of show me what products you have? Sure. Uh, well, we're going to start with a program called Cardios. This one here? Yeah. And uh, let me introduce the developer over here. It's actually a real engineer over here. So his name is Jun Hong. And uh, he's going he gonna to tell you about this program. Great. Thank Great. you so much. Jun Hong, hi. How are you? I'm thank you. So I'm fine. Thank you. You're yeah. the developer? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. OK. So you're the expert. What am I looking at? Oh, uh, This is called Cardios. And this is targeting for uh, cardiovascular disease. As you probably know, the cardiovascular disease is the global leading cause of death. So we developed this solution. So this solution is AI-based solution. So this solution contains two main parts. First, medical imaging segmentation. Okay. So this is the extraction from the cardiac CT scan. And second, uh, AI-based prediction of diagnostic indicator FFR. So we can provide the diagnostic lasers like this, so oh. the value of the FFR is presented to medical doctor. Yeah. So you could see like quickly the difference between a normal heart or abnormal heart and prevent possibly fatal or different kind of harmful diseases, correct? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So th that's a scan of a real heart? Oh, uh, uh, sorry? Is that a scan of a real heart? Oh uh, yeah, this is from the real, real space patient heart from, yeah, yeah. Very cool. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Where am I moving on to next? Oh, yes. All right. Hi, how are you today? Uh, oh, fine. Uh, I'm a urologist uh, uh, and also a co product uh, product, product uh, developer. Okay. Uh, our product is named the uh, new uh, non invasive uh, urodynamic study. Okay. Yeah. Urodynamic study is the uh, gold standard for diagnosing benign prostate hyperplasia. Uh, so, uh, however, uh, the traditional method involves the insertion of a catheter into a urethra, okay. which is painful and have a risk of infection. Okay. So, uh, in, uh, in response, we uh, developed uh, a non-invasive uh, testing process using machine learning training based on our data, uh, patient data. Uh, our uh, test requires Euroflow metry and transrectal ultrasound of prostate and international prostate symptom score IPSS. Uh, and combined with this, and results come out uh, the obstructed and urgent bladder. Okay. So uh, in the future, our product will be spread over the world, I think, yeah. So it's being used in Korea now, but your goal is to go global with the product. Yeah, yeah, global already, Very yeah. Interesting. Okay, is there, is there anything, am I moving on to the next part? Is yeah. There, next part, all right, moving on. Okay, I see a face, facial recognition. Tell me what I'm looking at. Well, actually, this application provides easy and quick facial analysis. Okay. It calculates uh, facial asymmetricities and also predicts uh, uh, the effect of filler treatment. Okay. Uh, originally, if you want to measure your facial asymmetries, uh, you have to go to the doctors and ask, ask for them. And the doctors use rulers to measure their asymmetries. <laughs> However, if you use Maya's facial, you only have to take photo of your face. And our application automatically uh, extracts 478 landmarks information. Okay. And it calculates facial asymmetries like angular asymmetricity, area asymmetricity, and volume asymmetricity. And it also predicts uh, Filler treatment result. Okay, so we we expect uh, so we expect the doctors can easily manage their patients, and the patients can easily measure their asymmetries at home. 
Okay, so, so where where is this specifically used? In what in what areas of med of the medical uh, field is this specifically used? Um, well, first of all, uh, uh, skin care. Okay. And um, orthodontic treatment. Okay. And jaw surgery. Ah, so facial symmetry for measuring, for example, if you're in an accident or such, it can measure facial symmetry and help with these surgeries before going into that process. Yes, and they can actually monitor um, how their treatment treatment is going. Okay. 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 So you can measure all that here, and here's here's some really easy to understand. This stuff is really complicated. I'm no expert in this field. They do a great job in explaining it, but if you want to understand more simply, they have these cards as well, where they have all the information in English along with. It looks like the U.S. Dermal Filler Market. Ah, they have market statistics as well. So if you guys want more detailed information, come on down, talk to the experts, and pick up one of these flyers. They have QR codes as well to make this somewhat complicated software and system more understandable to the general public. Is there anything else you'd like to add? If not, I saw something over there that I want to go see. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Because I really want to go check out that if I can. Okay, then uh, our CEO can explain. Okay. Awesome. We're coming back full circle. I saw this thing. I was moving over here and I saw this cool headset. We have to come back to the CEO. So what is it? So this is an AR device. And uh, what you're going to see this, uh, once you wear this one, you're going to see that you're going to see the whole new world. This is uh, it's an AR. You're going to see the whole new, your heart actually. You're going to see your heart over there. Okay. So why don't you try? Sure. Got to watch the hair here. I'm not going to mess your hair. Okay. Oh, it's very comfortable. So, uh, uh -huh. let's see. So, what you're going to see, oh, uh, do you see anything there? Uh, turn your hand, yeah. Yeah, turn right. Yeah. And? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. What do you see? I believe I'm going to see a heart, right? Right, 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 right. Right side. Right side? Oh, I see it. It's right there. There's the heart. So it has this, I don't know what the FFR value is. It has a... FFR means the fractional flow reserve. That's the gold standard for the cardiovascular disease. Okay. So what doctors use is FFR values. Okay. And what we can do is we can predict that value in five minutes. This is a excellent tool that medical doctors can actually use non-invasive way. So this isn't for the general public, this is for medical doctors yeah, to use. for the medical doctors. But you have it on display today. Right, right, that's Very right. Cool. What you can do is you can actually increase the size, but uh, well, you can actually do it by I using your hand. I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's uh, like aug uh, augmented, augmented reality. So if you want to see that the more in detail, and if you want to look into that, you can actually move around and look into your that heart you're over there. Yeah, like, like Iron Man in the, exactly, in the Iron Man exactly, movies. Exactly. Okay, yeah, that's very, right. Very that's cool. Right. That's right. I'm no doctor, but it was really cool trying this on and seeing all your products. You guys have so much to show. If you're not an expert in this field, it's a little hard to understand, but you made it really simple. What is your goal here at CES? Well, it's a uh, uh, basic goal is, is uh, we want to simplify the, the process so that uh, non-engineers, non-technicians can even use this system and they can actually utilize their own profit, okay. own purposes. That's the basic thing. Yeah. Very cool. And you guys, are, are you in the process of entering the U.S. market? We plan to, first of all, what we're going to do is we plan to establish that the research institute, including U.S. and Japan. So that's our plan. Once we set up that and uh, we try to attract a lot of venture capital funding. Sure. So research and education comes first, public awareness coming into funding and then moving this product into market. Yes, Thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate sure. it. If you guys aren't in the medical field or if you are in the medical field, come down. They have a lot of information, a lot of cool stuff to see and a lot of preventative technology that can help us live healthier lives. And this is probably the only time if you're a non-doctor that you can try out this type of AR device. Thank you so much for your Thank time you so today. Much. I really appreciate it. Have a great exhibition. Okay. You.